Hello and welcome to this new series on data warehousing interview questions and answers. Now in this series, I'm going to be posting five questions with the answers each weekday of this week. Now since this is going to be the first video in this series, the questions for today are more of a beginner level, testing your basic knowledge of a data warehouse. So let's begin with the session for today. So the very first question is going to be, what is a data warehouse? Now the standard definition of a data warehouse defines it as a central repository of data, which means that it is a place where you can store the data centrally to be used by the various departments or the various processes in your organization. So it is actually a place where you store the data, which can be used at an enterprise level. So what is the aim of a data warehouse? The aim of a data warehouse is to store historical data, which means huge volumes of data across time. So it might be a data for a whole decade, a data for 20 years, 50 years or so on, depending on the size of your data warehouse. And what do we do with this historical data? This historical data is then used to identify trends, make forecasts and take wise business decisions. So that is why we have this concept of a data warehouse. Now a second related question would be why do we need a data warehouse which is basically more about the database. Why do we need the dimensional model of a data warehouse? So why can't you store all this historical data in a normal database? Because there's a limitation with the relational databases. So now these normal databases, they are relational databases, which means basically that there's a series of tables which are joined together by joins. So if you store this large amount of data in a relational database, fetching that data, for analysis or for query output would be very difficult because of these large number of joins which would be involved in getting to that data through the various number of tables that would be created in a relational database. So for that purpose, we need or we have a specialized model for a data warehouse, which is called as a dimensional model, which is basically the facts and dimensions and that allows it to store the data in a format and in a way which makes it easily accessible for analysis purposes. So that is why you need to have a data warehouse architecture in place and you cannot store it in a simple relational database. Now the third question that follows automatically would be what are facts and dimensions? What do you understand by facts and dimensions? So facts are anything which can be measured. So all the fields in the facts are known as measures because a broad definition is that a fact contains anything that can be quantitatively measured. So let's say the number of products that were sold in a day, the number of orders that were executed in a day. So this becomes a fact. So these are basically or mostly numerical quantities that are stored in a fact table. A dimension on the other hand has attributes. So these attributes are textual fields. These are basically categorical values. So what is the product name? What is the product category? So all those kind of descriptive definitions or descriptive values are stored in a dimension table. So this is a broad differentiation between a fact and dimension. Facts are more quantitative. Dimensions are more qualitative, which means you are storing textual or categorical values, products, geography, employee, customer, all these data in a dimension table. Facts are things that you measure numerically. What is your sales amount? What was your cost amount? All those kind of things would end up in a fact table. And now we move on to the fourth question, which is going to be what is a star and what is a snowflake schema? So when we define a dimensional model for a data warehouse, there are two kinds of schemas that we can define. So let's see what is a star schema. A star schema is basically where a fact table is directly linked to all the dimension tables. So now if I want to fetch the employee information, let's say I can go through my fact table, directly make a single step join to the employee dimension table and get my employee information as well. So this is a star schema. All the dimension tables directly linked with a single join to the central fact table. 
Now then what's a snowflake schema? A snowflake schema is basically a normalized version where all the dimension tables are not directly linked to a fact table. So if it's a big dimension table that might be split down into small sub tables or let's say in this example we have the product dimension and then we have the package type dimension, brand dimension, storage type dimension and so on. And these all of these sub dimensions have the primary keys as foreign keys and this product dimension table which is the main table or the master dimension table. So in a snowflake schema, all the dimension tables are not directly linked to the fact table. They might be split down into sub tables. So this is a different in structure for a snowflake schema and star schema. In a star schema, all the dimension tables are directly linked to a fact table. And in a snowflake schema, it is more normalized version the dimension tables are split into sub dimension tables so all the dimension tables are not directly linked to the central fact table so then obviously the question that follows here is that where would you uh, use a star schema and where would you use a snowflake schema so both of them have the pros and cons a star schema obviously by the structure of it we could see that there are simpler joints involved simple queries involved because all the dimension tables are directly linked to the fact table so you go to the fact table make a single joint to the dimension table and fetch that dimension related data so obviously the queries are going to be faster and you'll get a faster output a snowflake schema on the other hand would have complex queries because you would need to link through multiple tables to get your data so if you have huge volume of data that is where a snowflake schema is more necessary and used the other advantage of having a snowflake schema is that the redundancy of data is reduced so you have a product table and then a product subcategory table let's say that there is a new product subcategory that is added for product a so if we had a star schema, then we would have all this information only in a single dimension table, which is the product table. The product dimension table would have got the information for product subcategory also. Then you would need to add that data, that column for all the records and that product dimension table, which had that product subcategory. Whereas in case of a snowflake schema, it gets easier because now you just need to go to the product subcategory dimension table, just add that new data or new column that you need to add for the product subcategory and then you do not need to do anything else so if i need to fetch that data then the, i can go through product dimension to the product subcategory dimension and fetch that new data as well so i did not need to change my data in the product dimension and that reduce the redundancy of data that reduce the places in which i am repeating my data and that gives it another advantage that it makes it easier to maintain for example these kind of changes are very common in business scenarios so if there is new data and new fields to be added new subcategory type to be added then it is easier to maintain that in a snowflake schema so both have their uh, pros and cons and they have to be used depending on the business requirements so these are the five questions for today i hope you like this video thanks a lot for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe to youtube channel for more such videos and i'll talk to you tomorrow with five more questions